welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This time we are racing with the A-class Italian cars. I've... I don't know if mine's going to work. I managed to put both Deltas on the same team by accident. Well done me, but... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Melancia Delta that we've got here. You see... The normal Delta is a very, 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 very good car in this game. So C, B, A class even, it's phenomenally fast. The S4 is a lot more difficult to work, and I've built mine stupid. Well, I say stupidly. Mine is going to have no straight line speed here, because it is very light and has less than 300 horsepower. And the A class, that is not much. Diesel wheel drive has big rally tyres, which is all good, but uh, we'll see, really. It's not. I say it's not likely. I've got to remember we're going to have phenomenal levels of grip here. Uh, we are probably going to turn better than most of the cars. I certainly hope so because we're not going to accelerate much. So we're going to have to turn better than most of the cars here. I top out at about 140 miles an hour. That's aero and power limited. That's not gear. <laughs> That's all it's got. Here, yeah, Bath has got a lot of miles an hour on me. Go on there, you can go past. Actually, it's faster than 355. That surprises me. Um, but that thing is not monstering off. Although, that, to be fair, that didn't have crazy amounts of power uh, when it came out. I love the 355. It's, I don't know, it's one of those cars that when I think of Ferrari, that's one of the cars I think of first. It's just the almost like definition of a Ferrari. But regardless, I digress. We're chasing down the 124. I'm going to go around the outside of it here. Uh, I think so. We've got so much more grip than it through here. Uh, we're going to have got us going to follow Estelvio Levante. I believe the Countach leading the way does not have rally tyres, uh, which is, I'd say, fair enough. Uh, it's going to be fast at these sort of tracks, but of course it goes off-road and it will be in trouble. The Alpha, the Stelvio is not all that fast. Uh, of course, the SUVs have got the wonderful off-road race tyres, so they'll be good on the dirt in theory. Hello, Slidey. One, two, four. Uh, we will get past that. I've got, be, I've got to be really careful with this. This thing, the back end, is very lively, shall we say, on the uh, on the on the Delta. So, yeah, have to watch out for that. There goes that uh, spider again. We'll stay roughly out of the way. It's a close race at the moment in terms of points here. We will be absolutely flat through there, no problem at all. The issue we're going to have is we're going to run into an alpha-sized roadblock. Oh no, I'm going to run into an alpha-sized roadblock. <laughs> I, think it actually, I think they actually got out of the throttle there to uh, let me go through, because we can carry absolutely phenomenal speeds through these corners, but that does rely on there not being cars in the way <laughs> the spiders having issues again. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. It's quite funny to watch the spider having a million problems through these corners. I know I'm going to have them myself at some point, but... Oh, thank you. That's about as much... Uh, yeah, got about fast as my car's gone, I think. I'm going to be all over the back of the spider through here. We should get the run, and we will take the position back again. Uh, we can break quite late into this. It's not just about the, the breaking late as such. I got on the power a little too early, actually. I was about to say, it's not just the fact that I can break very late, but I could also jump on the power sooner than that 124. However, that time around, I actually got a bucket load of understeer, and it didn't really work. Oh, I thought you were going to go the other side. Uh, that car does not want to be on the uh, on the grass particularly. I don't know what tyres it's going to be on. That will be curious to see. I'm a long way back but I'm hoping that we can at least make up some of this time. This sort of track as I said is not likely to go well for my Delta here. This is not the sort of venue it's going to like. It wants lots of corners and uh, oh, plenty of acceleration zones but that is the downside with it. When you get it wrong it does that. <laughs> it just snaps sideways. That might cost me a chance at fifth to be honest with you. That it was almost relying on me getting ahead through that section, but I pushed it too hard and we lost the back end. I don't have had a wheel on the grass, maybe turning in. A bit, like, even if I don't, this thing is quite oversteery, to say the least. So, yeah, that probably won't help matters. First time I think I can get through turn one at maximum attack, and even then there's way more speed that I could have taken in this. There was definitely more speed to be had in my delta there. We're going to have to hope that the above has a big slide. It's clearly rear-wheel drive. I said I don't know what tyres it's on. The speed, track line speed it has is quite quite high, so it might not be on rally tyres, but uh, I'm not sure. Points. We're still looking good for the win at the moment. Even if I don't beat the 124, which is looking less and less likely, I'm going to be able to do that. 
there's such a huge gap. As good as we are through the corners, uh, we can't close that gap, I don't think, in time through the bits where we are fast here. At least that sort of transition there with a the little with a little bump. <laughs> That's that was the limit. That was the absolute limit, I think, for uh, oh god, for what I dare get away with in the car. Very much on the edge of moving around. We kind of ended up in a no man's land in sick. I mean, it's good for points. You know, it's 300 points. We've got the alpha in in seventh as well. Uh, but it is, uh, yeah, quite a lonely race for us here. Don't end up out wide. There is. Again, more tyre smoke pouring off the car ahead of us if he goes again up the hill. Uh, it'd be in, it would be interesting. I was always say I'd love to see fastest laps. I feel like my lap time isn't that dissimilar to the Abarth. It's just vastly different places where we make lap speed. Both of us have sort of difficulties in controlling the car. The Abarth's much more obvious. Mine just every so often snaps crazy, crazy oversteery and all sorts of trouble uh, there. Oh, someone missed a checkpoint. Uh, that is going to ruin Blue Team's chances there. That has uh, scuppered their their chances. The Levante that has come out behind me. Now I know that's going to have more straight line speed. I've got to hope that I can outturn it here, which we can a little bit. But let's not forget that's got very big tyres and is more planted than I am. Come on, Lance. <laughs> You've got nothing. Well, okay. We knew that this track was going to suck. We could really hold off. The Maserati, it doesn't matter what side I go there. It, I move left, it's going to go past. On the right, it's got so much more top end than me. But the important bit is we got enough points to take the round victory. Uh, Dino takes second ahead of the other Delta S4. Very different, say, a, a differently built Delta, certainly. Um, that's not got the wide body kit, so more power, but heavier. All right, it's a start. Hopefully, we can continue. So, for our next race, we head off road the Tarn Howls Scramble. This is hopefully a track that my car should do well at. The problem is we've got two SUVs that are likely to be quite good. The Levante starts on the front row as well, which is less helpful. Our Delta, our other Delta, is starting on the front row. And yeah, I mean this should be should should in theory be a track my car goes goes well at. It's not next to the climb of the hill. It's not crazy straight line speed related. My acceleration should be helpful. We're going to be very very light. Uh, oversteer might be a problem. The oversteer might be a problem. I'm not running any Forza Aero on this car. It's actually quite a faff to get the PI working for this, uh, as it is. And I don't want any more drag on the car. We're already struggling severely with trailers. Maybe it maybe it fell some of the uh, oversteer. Uh, but, yeah, the, the PI was not really there. And I need any sort of help I can with my top speed. So, we'll give it a try. Oh, the Levante has gone over. Well, that has made life... 10 times easier for us here. <laughs> really, really helped us. The Deltas, they are running away at the front. And let's face it, was a very great rally car. Often regarded as the greatest never to have won a championship, and that was because of the circumstances surrounding Group B more than anything. Uh, the car was phenomenally fast off road, so hopefully it shall be here. Blue Team not enjoying this. Uh, the Levante has fallen over, but that will, I have no doubt, climb back up through the field and score some more points. Um, however, I think they've got more tarmac-based cars on that team, and that is going to hurt come these sort of arounds. Uh, oh, we're going to have some oversteer through there. The annoying thing is, the track that my car should be good at, the other Delta is just as good by the looks of it. We, we, well, maybe we needed Amble side. That might have been where my car really shot. I mean, in these sections, you can actually see that I'm now closing up uh, to the vehicle ahead. But it's then going to pull away as we go up the hill towards the start finish line. Is it going to pull away up this hill here as well? What's in third? Dino, I think, of ours. Uh, let that car take out the fence. We get that kick of oversteer. <laughs> Here we go, let's try and chase it down around this lap. Yeah, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4 at the moment. Long may that continue for a red team. Yeah, the Delta looks a little more planted. It looks like it might be on race suspension. It's bobbling a lot more than mine is. Mine is a lot smoother over these bumps. We can carry more speed. We're going to chuck it up the inside into turn 1. Oh, it's a little too brave on the inside there. We slide mid-corner. We do get the exit, though, through here. We're going to be on a little bit of a funky line. I don't fight it too much. Otherwise, you get yourself in trouble. But we are through 
nicely. Levante's up to six. A little bit of a tap on the wall on the outside, and the, <laughs> the other Delta gets past. Uh, can we... Ah, they were wise where I was quick last lap around there and covered that inside line. Now, running around the top of the, the kind of hairpin will work uh, to get some lap speed sometimes. Keep our momentum here. Uh, so we might have to try that as an overtake, of a, as a pass. I fear I might not quite have the rear end grip for that one, but we will probably give it a try. That was very, very close on the checkpoint, but we're trying to make up any little bit of lap time that we can here. Uh, we're quite a long way ahead of the rest of the field. So that's why, I mean, if if this battle was for a different position and we we're more worried about points for the team, you wouldn't fight your teammate this hard, but we're a long way clear, and as long as we race each other clean, you know, we both want to get victories for our respective Lanciers. Uh, we're going to try carry speed this time, don't hit the wall, we don't. That's more like it, we're going to make the other Delta go the long way around. Now they might be happy to try and run it out wide, I think they're trying to cut back on underneath, that's fine, I'll straighten up the <laughs> mid-corner. Use all of my acceleration. It, that car will have more power than me, but it is heavier. Uh, and the Delta, as far as not a heavy car to begin with, but uh, my one in particular is very, very light. We have got the lead of the race with one more lap to go here. Uh, chuck it through the final corner, get a little bit of oversteer. Now we've got to be good through turn one. <laughs> so does the other Delta. Valencia's are sliding around here. We've got to be good through turn one. This is where we can make up some of our lap speed. Uh, we haven't got to worry about, you know, battling side by side this lap around. We are through there cleanly. Don't get in trouble sliding it through this section. This is the big concern, really. Oh, we're a little bit in trouble. Still carry good speed. We're far enough away that that little mid-corner mid issue went uh, unpunished. Oh. Second gear on the exit. I think we're going to be far enough away here. Well, in the battle for the off-road supremacy, the Lanciers are very good indeed. Which way it's going to go, I'm not sure, because they've actually got a very good run up this hill. I've got to be careful, it's very difficult to overtake the final quarter. You chuck it in too hard, you're going to get big oversteer and they're not close enough. We bump around out wide, we take a victory <laughs> in a very hard 4-4 race. That was good fun, I enjoyed that one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, red team. The Levante climbs to 4th. Curious about what lap speed that was doing in comparison to the two deltas. It had a big off at the start, and uh, yeah, dropped, dropped back from there. But a good recovery to get a fourth, that's for sure. Whew, our red team definitely have the off-road vehicles uh, by by a long way in this, and uh, yeah, the Lancia's pretty good around there. We head next to a track I'm really not going to enjoy. Well, <laughs> say that I like the Bamberco circuit. My Lance here is not going to be fast here. Oh, we're at the back anyway. We go from the highs, the great heights of uh, winning at Tarn Howells to probably trundling around in about 6th or 7th around here. Uh, yes, there are some, you know, twisty sections, but uh, my real lack of top end is, is going to hurt. Yes, the acceleration is amazing in this car, of course, because it is so light, but I just got nothing in terms of top speed, so... Yeah, that's not not much we can do around this track. It's not entirely dependent on top speed here, but it does certainly, certainly help. I don't think I can make up enough lap time in these twisty bits to compensate for the fact that I do 140 miles an hour and we're out of steam. Uh, that's fine through there. We might be able to have a dive at the inside of the Ferrari. Oh, that Ferrari knew we were there. <laughs> I, mean, we do, I maybe didn't quite break as late as I should have done to have that dive, but uh, yeah, I don't think anyone was aware there was a Lancia at the inside, and everyone's going to be very acutely aware of the Lancia-shaped roadblock going up over the hill as the Kuntash will disappear off. Uh, we can have... I can break so much later, but there was nowhere to go if I took that big dive bomb uh, there, so we will bide our time. We're going to great run out of here. I've got nowhere to go with it again! And of course, we'll get this acceleration, we get this drive, and then... No. <laughs> we're not... We're similarly matched with the uh, 131. I do not want to yield. It has now started pulling away on us. Uh, we can stop our car, get it turned in, carry great, great, great run all the way through that first corner. We jink our way past the HC. The Stelvio brushes a curb and has a massive problem. Uh, that curb is horrible. You would expect the SUVs to be the cars that were fine climbing over it, but no. 
anything can fall foul of it. We're on the gearbox of the Kuntash up there, but uh, it, it, I can't stick there. I want to lasso myself to the wing of that Lambo as if it can drag us along for this bit. Uh, we can at least this time around like break where we want and really dive into these final corners if I don't get oversteer. That's the thing, the front end changes direction amazingly well, but the back end just doesn't quite keep up with it. Uh, here we go, again, we, get, we can almost draw alongside. And this is the problem we might come across, is even even if we have a faster lap time, we may really struggle to clear the Kuntash, because every time we come to a straight, it would just come flying back past. Absolutely fly through turn one here. Uh, it is... Yeah, it's, it's a fun kind of drive, I have to say, this Delta. It is kind of better than I thought it was going to be in some regards. Uh, can we duck underneath here? Oh! <laughs> get alongside. It's just not going to matter, though. I can do this. I do think, lap time wise, we are we're certainly very, very similar. But I'm not catching at the right point. We need the final corner to be, the, the, the finish line to be just after the final corner so I stand a chance. Otherwise, we're just always going to get out dragged here. We're both catching the 1 2 4. Uh, this does, of course, rely on me not getting that oversteer. That oversteer just kills my lap time massively. Every time we slide, that puts us out of out of position. Ugh. It is the Levante that leads the way, chased by the Dino and the other Delta. You can see the one two four. The dot of the one two four as soon as it gets on the straight is ridiculous to watch. All right, brake, get the car settled. I still think there's more speed in it through there. I'm just trying, like. I'm balancing, it's the risk versus reward, I want to take all the speed I can, but the time lost from a big oversteer moment is I have got to be careful. We're a little further back this lap around, but again, just the speed out of that corner there is immense. The Kuntash can't shake us. We might all get bottled up behind the 124 a little bit here. Because I've been enjoying clean air. I've been right behind the Kuntash, but it's never really been interfering, or hardly been interfering. But the 124 if I catch the back of it, that will interfere with my corner speed and I can't interfere with its straight line speed. Like that, for an example. <laughs> it's going to come back past, but oh, there's been a missed checkpoint at the front. No, the Levante's gone again. <laughs> I was so busy in my own battle, I didn't see what happened. I presume it may have been a turn one, turn two missed checkpoint area. It shot off after the Kuntash. Uh, not very much does that to a Kuntash. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that is crazy, crazy speed here. Oh, yeah, and again, that's that's where it hurts us is that we've had to check up through this. So I haven't been able to carry the sort of speed that Delta S4 is capable of because there was a one-two-four in the way. We may be able to get out of these final corners quick enough because the Kuntash gets out of our way. It's fast enough and quick enough. Well, it's fast enough down a straight to pull a gap and not so slow through the corners that I run into the back of it. So we may be able to. Uh, Stay clear of the one, two, four. It is going to rely on me not oversteering the car though all the way through here. Uh, I've actually done this is a better result than I thought. I really did think I would be matching the Kuntash for pace. Uh, so third and uh, fourth, sorry, I'm actually really happy with as far as a result goes. We caught and passed the one, two, four. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's barreling towards us. Come on, finish line. Come on, finish line. Oh. <laughs> that was a little bit closer than I would have liked. That was a little bit closer than I would have liked. Um, but yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with that result. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Okay, sure, the Levante should have been ahead of us. But outside of that, yeah. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. Actually, Red Team, Red Team has now gone on one that adventure uh, as well. Uh, okay, we're back off-road next. That should be good for me. We head next to the Lakehurst Woodland Scramble. As I said, this is an off-road race. However, it isn't a nice fully dirt one like uh, Tarn Howes. It is probably two-thirds tarmac. A nasty dirt section, certainly, down towards the hairpin, and a bit bumpy in places, but uh, not the longest. Not the longest dirt section. Uh, the other Delta has a much nicer grid spot than me. I would like that spot on the grid. We're going to do what we can here. Uh, I'm, again, likewise, tempering expectations. I'm not expecting to be running at the front so much. The power up the hill is what's going to kill me. Uh, the straights aren't crazy long, but yeah, this hill climb is going to be horrible for for my poor Delta. It's just not going to have the the top end. However, as soon as we get off the hill, well, we know the Kuntash is not on rally tyres, so that's going to have trouble. We know the Levante is likely to be quite good. Um, 
It is heavier, so I should, in theory, turn better than it. Which uh, can go around to the outside of the Countach, and there's nothing the Lamborghini can do here. And that is, again, that is to be expected. Uh, the other Delta is the other Delta is probably the way to go for most of these uh, scenarios, if you will. I went a little bit specialised on the old uh, handling front. How uh, late can we break into this hairpin? Quite late. Uh, we can use that kind of banking to get the car turned. Okay. We can maybe maybe make something happen, especially if the Levante is fighting with cars. We could definitely. Oh, <laughs> Levante has had. It's just. It's had the worst time, the worst luck with the checkpoints, uh, that one. Uh, you see, I wasn't so far. I should have gone for the dive there. I was kind of happy to sit behind the Dino for now, because I know every straight it's going to pull away. So it's like, I could slow both of us down in that corner, or we could sort ourselves out and. Uh, worry about fighting it out. Probably in the dirt is where the, where the difference is going to be made. Um, but we still end up slowing down a little bit regardless because that's actually a good run. Uh, what have we got behind us? Yeah, I can't actually tell. I'm not sure what they're driving. I think it's the other Dino. I think it's uh, Blue Team's Dino that's behind us at the moment. Oh, that's a big load of speed <laughs> up there that I didn't quite sort out in the right way. Dino is not far behind the uh, other Lance here. It's pulled a little bit of a gap to me. It is better up the hill than I am, but it doesn't look particularly comfortable down here. We should be the best at this section. How, again, how late dare I break before the hairpin? We've got so much more grip through there. I'm trying to make the outside. I wasn't even planning an overtaking attempt there. That was just how much speed I had that I ended up looking to the outside to see what might, might be able to happen. I feel like we're going to do exactly the same race with this that we did with the Kuntash, only this time it's for the second and with a teammate, but uh, we can catch and catch and catch and catch and basically push it across the line and out of the final corner, but <laughs> I'm not going to beat it because it's just going to beat me to the line. It's a shorter run to the start or finish line here at least, that's something, uh, you know, can't complain too, as I can't complain too much, uh, I'd rather it be immediately after the final corner, but still, that's all the power cars all the other way around. Points-wise, still looking pretty good for us. The Levante is climbed back up to six. <laughs> Paul Maserati is going for just recovery drives every single race. Uh, okay, let's get braking right this time around. We do. At the top of the hill. Yeah, we're all quick in different places. The Delta S4 is sort of the balanced car. I'm the handling car. The Dino's got all the power. Uh, unfortunately, I fear... Oh, me trying to get this pass done is going to be very, very difficult. Can we run? Can we maintain enough speed around the outside? No, not with a big kick of oversteer mid-corner. I know the line I want, and sometimes they can make it work, but uh, that was not it, that, that map. Uh, we're now going to be a little further back, although we're then perhaps not going to be compromised uh, in any corner by being a little further back. The Delta brushed the wall and has lost momentum. It's all closing up at the front. <laughs> The three very different, uh, I say very different, they're not crazy different specs of car almost. Uh, especially two being the same type, but yeah, we've all got our strengths and all got our weaknesses here. Who is going to come out on top? Tito's out wide, the Lance, you're going for a cutback on the exit there. Now what I might be able to do is if these two fight and really slow each other down in the corners, maybe I can, you know, make the most of an opportunity and get the both of them. I don't know, we might be a bit too far back. Uh, but it'll depend on what opportunities may come our way. You've just got to kind of be ready. The most important thing is don't knock two of your teammates out of a checkpoint. That is a very, very critical point here. Uh, <laughs> because, yes, we are all on the same team. We all want to win this race very much. So uh, I've had the oversteer moment uh, occur, and we have lost... Well, we haven't gained time on the bit that we're fast at because I was fighting for control. Oh, no! <laughs> The other Delta has missed a checkpoint. Someone was going to. Uh, we may still be far enough away that we come out in third place anyway from that missed checkpoint. Uh, I guess that was... I think they tried to cut too tight on the hairpin, maybe? Trying to yeah, get too much to the inside. I clipped that fence. Oh, it was one more time of asking. I thought I was going to be the one that beansed it down the hill, but uh, in the end, not quite. One more lap to go. Can we... I don't think I don't think I've got an answer for the Dino. Whoopsie, that's a wall. Definitely not now. Unless the Dino makes a mistake. I think I think they've got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my car has actually done better here than I thought. Again, 
Much like that previous, much like Bambara, I did not think we would stand. Okay, we know our team had the better rally cars, but again, this is it was there with the Dino and with the other Lancia. It was definitely quicker than them in various places. That time wise, it'd be very similar between all three cars. Uh, okay, I've made a little bit of a goof on this uh, final time of asking, but the car was certainly quick enough. <laughs> but with, yeah. Little little silly errors from me. However, has been again another very very good race. We fly around the final couple of corners. The Levante climbs to third in a fight with that with that Delta. Not really got a chance to have a straight up battle with the Maserati yet. I don't quite know how this would compare to it as we leave the final corner. It's going to be a second place. It's another podium for the Delta and the track that yeah as I said unsure about how it was going to perform. That will do nicely. Who is going to come across the line in third? There's a little bit of a gap. It is the Levante just beats the Delta S4. Uh, and then it will be blue teams at Dino beating Stelvio. Very much the off-road stuff suiting the uh, the red team cars here. Stelvio crosses the line. Well, again, red team might have won, won the adventure. Uh, but we're, we're certainly having a very good inter-team inter -team battle on these rally stages. So, for our final round, we have come to the Prince's Street Garden Circuit. I'm going to be sliding here, I think. Ooh, this is probably our best spot on the grid. <laughs> the other Delta is off the front row again. Uh, we might be able to get up to second or third off the line. We're going to, we, we launch very well. Uh, All-wheel drive, incredibly light. I shorten the gears to make sure it does launch well. So, we could get up to second or third. I think Kuntash might still beat us. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a good launch, and then we might be able to hold on. Our acceleration out of the hairpin, for example, is going to be very, very good. Uh, here we go, down towards this first corner. No, not going to be the Kuntash, too far back to do that. Uh, we, I'm hoping we can be ahead of the Dino when we come out of Ghost Mode, which it looks like we can do. I mean, if we could get past the Kuntash before we leave Ghost Mode, we know it's likely to challenge us down the hill. Uh, we're still, okay, we're still in Ghost Mode. We're going to make the most of that opportunity. Uh, to sneak up the inside. Now, I don't know whether Gliska missed the brakes or whether my car was unghosted on their screen. It looked strange. It looked like I might have punted that car forward, but it didn't. On my end, we didn't, but uh, yeah, who knows whether there was some sinkage or whether Gliska did just miss the brakes into that corner. Uh, so we know we're going to have the handling advantage here. Uh, with the exception of that potential massive oversteer that can go on and might feed me into a wall somewhere. Um, yeah, <laughs> a little nervous about driving this thing hard. I'm a little nervous about driving it hard. Uh, again, as I said, it's fun, but there is always that fear in the back of your mind it might try and murder you. Oh. Yeah, like that, for an example. If you get it the tiniest bit wrong, you're going to have really big problems. If you get it right, it's going to be really fast. Keeps you awake. That's for sure. Uh, got debris stuck under the front. I think it despawned, but that's the last thing we need when we're trying to chase down another a car that we know is very, very similar to us. Last thing we need is debris slowing us down. Kuntash is not really going anywhere back there. We've we have managed to just form like a big line of cars with little gaps in between all of us. Uh, we're getting the street furniture bloody thrown at us very annoying. Uh, we can throw it at the car behind as well. <laughs> That's what we shall do. We shall just make a nuisance of ourselves. Uh, this is the set. We, uh, we've got to be quick up here. This is the bit, hopefully, where the grip is going to be at its that's the most important. I feel like we might have lost too much in these first couple of laps already, if we're going to catch, because the, the differences are so small that one big oversteer moment is going to lose you all of your progress. I think something went on behind that has dropped everyone away, so it's back to a Lancia fight here. Carefully does it through here. I'm wanting to see the car ahead slide, but they're, they're keeping it clean and not doing anything stupid. Like, we're not quite close enough to really... Oh, we're not going nah, to do that. It's not going to be close enough. We're not quite close enough to really be putting them under crazy pressure. Not that you necessarily need to with a Delta, because you can see the twitching around up ahead. We are well clear of the pack behind. There's now Kuntash and Levante are leading charge. 
Adina has fallen back. The 1-2-4 is not going to enjoy this circuit quite as much. There's no long straights. Bloody street furniture! <laughs> that is causing us no end of grief. Yeah, I mean, like there, that completely ruined any sort of line I could have up the hill. Because I can't... We have to... I turned in late to try and avoid it anyway, which means I took a funny line and I still clicked it a little bit and it pushes you wide and you just lose more time. It's horrific. Uh, that is the downside of the light car. Although I'm not sure it's quite working here. I'm not sure I've quite got the, the lap speed. Yeah, we've been... We've got in trouble a little bit with Street Furniture. I think we're a few tenths down in terms of the lap time here. We're close, definitely, and we're about the only thing that is. But it's a, just a few tenths the wrong side of good really, unless there's any major mistakes on this final lap, you'll get away with a big oversteer moment here. Uh, it's so annoying. I'd love an option to turn off street furniture. It's just... <laughs> it's very, very annoying. Uh, by all means, keep it there for free roam. Just don't put it in the middle of my bloody racetrack. Uh, and if you're going to put it in the racetrack, don't give it any collisions. It's very annoying. I can't sound like walls at the edge of the road, sure, but... Things like lampposts are just irritating. Uh, right. I thought I was going to have a slide back end through all of that, but no. We are around there. And a couple more corners to go. Yeah, I'd love to see fastest lap. I'd be really curious to see. I feel like we've had a good final lap here. Uh, caught a little bit, but never going to be enough. Well, it's another one, too, for the Lanciers. I am impressed with these Delta S4s. Um, I think, yeah, the other build is a better overall. Mine can work at very specialised circuits. Uh, oh, it was close. Vesca gets third with that Kuntash. The Dino ends up fourth, and the Levante ends up fifth with the 124 in sixth. Uh, yeah, my, my build is a bit more specialised, I think. It doesn't work everywhere quite as well. Uh, but it is very good fun when it does work. It's an interesting car to drive. And yeah, they, they did perform better than I thought they were going to. Uh, as it, the normal delta very quick. I didn't know about the S4s, and yeah, apparently they work quite well. That is that is for sure. But uh, that is going to be it for this for this video for this adventure. If you would like to sign up to take part in the next one, you can via our Discord. There'll be a link in the description. Find the versus the community sign up section, and you can register to take part in there. That though is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.